What's up everybody, I'm Frank. This week on Vector Wednesday, we'll be working on a gradient mesh tutorial for beginners. A couple people requested it, so I worked on it this week and I got it for you. So stay tuned and we'll be back. Let's get this started. All right, we're going to uh, today we're going to vector this apple. And I'm going to try to be as precise for you so to make everything clear. So first we start, we double click on the layer that the picture is on, click template and check dim images and change it to 100%. And when you're done with that, hit okay. And this is your template. It allows you to see through the outline. I mean, it allows you to see the image in outline mode over the meshing you're doing. So you're going to make a new layer. And I start off with a square. Use the square tool and make a square. Just uh, changing the layer color. So when I'm in outline mode, I'll be able to see better with the blue on top of the red. So what I'm doing now is uh, going to click in the gradient mesh tool and then I click in the middle of my square and this is the start of my gradient mesh and what allows you to see what you're working on as you're working you can go click on uh, the, the navigator tool it allows you to see the white, I mean the color of your meshing while you're working. But when you're in outline mode, you'll basically be working blind. So it's something you'll get used to as you work on more gradient mesh, but you will be able to click in and out of the outline mode to see, you know, full resolution version of what you're working on. But outline mode is the way to work. Now you see me, I'm playing with the handles. This is how you will manipulate your lines, your mesh lines. And I can move the top and bottom of the handle. But if I go to this convert anchor tool under the pin tool, I can move just one side of the anchors. So this will give me more freedom. So that's another trick to playing with the mesh lines. So keep that in handy. Keep that in mind. I'm sorry. All right. Now to click individual mesh points, go to the indirect selection tool like you see me doing here. Now I'm starting to move my mesh around the shape of the apple. This is important because you want to start shaping before you start adding new lines to your mesh. And the reason is because you it'll, it'll cause less confusion and less heartache working with these mesh lines later if you shape first. Now you see I'm about to add new mesh lines because I want to get this bottom curve at the bottom of the apple and I will be using the convert anchor tool to get this right this correct curve that I want and if you're good with the pen tool you'll be fine with gradient mesh. I mean I learned the opposite. I learned gradient mesh first before I was very proficient with the pen tool. I knew how to use the pen tool but I will I didn't do, I wasn't very great at it. But if you know how to use it, gradient mesh should be just the progression of the pen tool. Now when it comes to seeing where you put your, your mesh lines at, you basically go where you're gonna have highlights and shadows. And you add vertical lines where, the, where you want the color to be. And you add horizontal lines where you wanna pick up color also. You see me going here, I'm just basically finding the spots where I want to put these mesh lines to bring in these colors that will be in your mesh. And you can draw the color from the image or you can draw the color, you can set up a color palette and have your own custom colors to add to the image. And start with a decent amount of lines. Don't go too crazy at first. If you see you need more throughout the process, add more later. 
Now when I add color, I have a shortcut. Uh, I hit the indirect selection tool, which is the gray arrow up top on the toolbar. Then I hit the eyedropper. And to click in between both of them, I hit the command key, which is the control key on the PC. Now first I click on uh, the mesh point, then I hit command and it switches my tool and I click. So I have to do that throughout this whole process. And you can see in the navigator window, you can see my progression in real time. And this just allows me to see where I'm at and just gives me an idea of what I need to do to improve. Or I can click on view outline and get out of outline mode to see in full resolution my progression. But I sped up the video a bit here because I'm just doing colors. I'm just adding and shaping on the fly. Just trying to just make subtle improvements to my piece. I'm also going to work on that stem. It wasn't necessary to do, but I just wanted to show you. Just You can use the same technique for anything. And as you improve to bigger and better images, I mean, you'll see the, the, uh, you'll see the improvement in your work. It'll be drastic. And I'll probably make a video probably tomorrow showing you my latest gradient mesh piece that I worked on. And I put a lot of time and a lot of detail into it. Probably the most detailed image I worked on thus far using a gradient mesh tool. And if I must say so myself, it turned out pretty, pretty, pretty good. That's my Larry Davis reference. But uh, like always, guys, if you have any questions, if you have any ideas for what you want me to do for the next uh, tutorial, leave a comment in the section below. And if you like the video, uh, Give me a thumbs up and pass it on to your friends. And like always, until next time, peace.